What's going on everybody back at you with another video and in this video here We're going to touch some areas that I talked about in a previous video about shield bidding and how to go into eBay Check for that person's bid um, retractions along with how much they're bidding on the person's stuff and We're going to touch a little bit more in a depth onto it and bring to light somebody that is doing it so, long story short here, I've had some email traffic uh, with a gentleman out there, and he's sent me some videos also to explain what he's seeing. And I've done some research into it, and I believe, I, I will say I'm pretty much like 99.9% .9 sure this guy is either having somebody shield bid his items for him, or he has multiple accounts to push the value up of his own auctions on eBay. Um... With that being said, I'm going to pull this stuff up for everybody here. And, and, you know, real quick, I see a lot of people send me emails and they're using the information that I'm putting out in these videos. And it makes me really happy because I now know that people are watching the videos, they're gaining knowledge from it. And I'm going to continue doing that for everybody out there. Whether you know already about the topic that I'm talking about, Please feel free to add comments in there of other areas that you see as well, too, or your experiences. Because as a hobby, I don't have all the knowledge out there. I will tell you that now. I'm always learning from your guys' comments in the videos, too, because I get to see it in other people's perspective or through their eyes. And it just helps you grow overall. All right, I'm trying to figure out where I have this. Okay, there it is. Boom, there we go. Alrighty here. So, this is a guy here, Ben's Baseball Cards. He's on eBay. 380 feedback right now. These are the items he has. So, I went through and you can tell these are auctions sold by date. Let's just pull up the first one here. So it sold for twelve dollars. It's the Zhang. Now what you do is you click the little bit history here. Check this out. See this dude has fourteen feedback and something I forgot to say in the original video. This uh, masked uh, screen name here will change between auctions. What you could do is tell by the amount of feedback. So this guy might have really wanted this item. You never know. Check this out. He bids 83% of the time on this seller. That's high. High, high, high. Sometimes the exception, like I said, to this rule is that if you're a breaker, you will have a following and guys will have higher percentages on there. I've seen it before and known it from my own history when I used to do eBay breaks years ago. And I was always skeptical of it. Because I was like, oh, is this guy just showing this up to do a bid retraction and all this? But that that's a different story for another day on to it. But if you look down here, you see he's had 12 bid retract retractions in the last 12 months, but 10 of them have been recent. Now, 83%, that's high. Very high. But then again, maybe he wanted that card. So just remember right now we have the 14 feedback and remember these percentages because this will stay the same every time even though this name up here or this little mass screen name of the bidder is out. This information will stay the same. So let's go back. Mm -mm -mm, one more. All right. So these are just on this day here. The 13th they ended on. So I did, at first I was like, well, you know, there's a lot of people that will go out there and they will want to get, you know, mass amount of cars from the same seller to save on shipping. Completely understandable. I do it myself. So let's get off the 13th here. And here's 12th. Ooh, I don't know. I got to find one that was bid up here a little bit. Let's look at this one. Hey, what do you know? Got 14 feedback right here again. Another one right here. As you can tell, 
He's the person, either it's him or somebody else is doing this to bid these up. So we have the 14 feedback. Of course, different name right here. Hey, what do you know? 83%, 10 and 12, 95, same numbers. Huh. Bids on this item, three. Now also keep an eye on the 72, because I believe this is the other one. And I'm just going to click on it real quick. But, oh no, it's not this guy. He, he has low uh, percentage. There's another one on here in the 70s. But we're just going to stick with the 14. So there's that one. Because he wasn't happy with the price. Let's take a look at this one here, $44. Hey, what do you know? 14 feedback guys back. And lots of 14s. Oh, same guy again. Look at right here. Same numbers. It might have been the 17 I was looking at earlier, too. I just wanted to look. No, it's not him. I just remember the 14s. This is the one I wanted to use for my example. All right, that's on a 12. Let's keep going back in time here. Let's go to the ninth. Now we're in the ninth stuff, and the eighth, and the seventh. So actually, look, let's look at Ortiz here. This looks like it got some high bids on to it. Hey, what do you know? 14 feedback guys all through here again. Lots of bids. Hey, same guy again. Look here at the summary. Different, uh, you know, mass name because that's how eBay does it. Let's take a look at this. Hey, what do you know? 14 feedback right here, been $99. And guess what? It sold for $99, too. He somehow figured it out how to get up the whole way to $99 of this guy's max bid. And what he probably did was retracted that bid. So that this here is now $99. So what I'm saying is, all right, so this guy is like, man, I cannot have my five-star Kyle Lewis auto selling for 30 bucks. What he'll do is go put a bid in, say $150. When he does that, he's able to look as a seller on, his, on the other account where he's selling from. Oh, man, $99 is high. He'll retract that bid. And then he'll go put $99 in because now he feels comfortable and it's this guy's max bid. And just to show you, same exact numbers again. And here's the retraction down here. Different screen name. Look, he had it at $100. Because you can see this. And I'll show you guys again. This 14 with different mass screen names, same guy. Let's take a look at this one here, Eloy. I can usually pick these out pretty quick. Check it out, 12 and 14. Guess what? He won his own auction here. He just didn't want to sell for where it did, and I'm sure it'll get relisted somewhere down the road. Tops complete. This is on February 3rd. 10 bids, 13 bucks. Hey, here's the 14 dude again right here. No bid retractions here on this. But you can tell, again, that this guy's still doing same 30-day summary, same thing here. So, I was really, like I said, happy to see that somebody used the information I gave out there. Because they kept on getting outbid. And basically, the guy retracted something. And then all of a sudden, he's the high bidder. So what will happen is, so now all of a sudden you're not the high bidder anymore, right? You're like, man, I just got out of this and, you know, I'm pretty much was at my limit at this. I'm going to go find another card and bid on it. All of a sudden, this guy retracts the bid. You get a message now, you're a current high bidder. And he couldn't, he was like, whoa, how am I the higher bidder now? Well, this is the reason why, because this guy has another account or... He has somebody else doing this out there to where he's getting his prices elevated to where he feels comfortable in selling these cards and making more money on it.
So, like I said, everybody, be careful when you're using eBay. If stuff don't look right, you can always go through with what I showed you in the past video. And what I'll do is I'm going to put that video towards the end of this. It'll be like a pop-up at the end of the video type deal. You click it, and it'll take you to that video to go more in-depth onto this. But I want to take a few minutes just to show everybody this because... Somebody caught this, and I went back through looking at it all, and I, I like I said, 99.9% .9 sure that it's either this guy or he has a buddy doing it out there, but his stuff is still bit it up. But very, very good job in, you know, being able to detect that and be like, uh -uh, I ain't messing with this guy no more because there's something not right here. I'm going to pull this down off the screen, everybody. But, again, I'm very happy to see that people are using the information that I'm providing out there so they can do their own research into everything. And I wanted to bring this up just to show everybody that it does take a little bit of time, a little bit of research and effort into doing this stuff, but you can really protect yourself in the long run. And, you know, it, it just really... I guess is upsetting in a ways too that you know people are getting away with this on eBay and eBay's just not really checking it because they're you know getting the money out of their stuff and either which way they just they they like their money and they won't spend the time into going into stuff like this either. But again, everybody, I do appreciate it. we hit the three thousand subscriber mark. Be prepared for that video to pop up this week. As soon as I get the box in, we'll do the video. Give it a couple days and we'll give it away live. All right, everybody. Again, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 4,000. So once you see a 3,000 uh, item giveaway, we'll go bigger at 4,000. Maybe we'll give a couple things away or something like that there. I'll start looking into that. But everybody have a good week. I do appreciate you guys watching the videos, making comments, and growing together because there's a lot of information you guys put out that I read and I get to see it from multiple you know, sets of eyes, how other people's perspectives are. I really do appreciate it. I will catch you all later. Have a good week.